has over 60 years, and he has a collection, I'm told, of over 100,000 negatives, including a wealth of timeless and iconic images. Good evening. Current affairs, what I found, we all found very interesting, that the majority, or many of the engines, concern themselves with war and violence. Um, and I think that here we might have to pay some sort of, maybe a tribute towards war photographers and those journalists um, who bring to us the world, to the world, the story and the images of war and disaster and the suffering and pain, the agony of people who lose their homes and their lives. Those journalists who themselves risk their own lives continuously, and many of them were shot and died. And I'm afraid that today we might have as many as 12 wars around the world, more many than ever. And I know that a lot of people say about wars. War pictures again, how boring. But I think, and, and I don't want to spoil the party, in time to come, there will be even more wars. And I feel that we need to be aware of that. And I think those pictures that were taken by these photographers are extremely important for the world to see. Photojournalism and documentary. Actuality. Third place, Hu Min Quang, China. Troisième place, Hu Min Quang, China. Second place, Dominique Nair, France. Deuxième place, Dominique Nair, France. Poland. Love air. Wojciech Grzadzinski, Poland.